Okay, so today we are going to try to put an SSD inside of an HP 450. The problem is, is I have one of these SSDs and it doesn't fit in the slot because it has to be a shorter form than this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify this to fit this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it apart. Very simple. Yourself a screwdriver. This screw does not come all the way out, so just unscrew it till it stops. Pull that out. Slide this down this way. And where this is going to go is in this slot right here. So if you look here, see if that focuses on that. If you look here. This does not fit in that slot. It is too big for this area. And what they've done to stop this is they've placed a piece of plastic back here, right there. <clears throat> so I can point with this. It's right behind this little piece right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out this metal screw holder that holds it down and break that little piece of plastic and put in the SSD. Okay, so to take off this little metal ridge right here, just get yourself a soldering iron, put it in the hole of the solder, and then wiggle it back and forth, and it comes out. So, so pretty much like you're just using the solder to loosen it up and pull it off because it's soldered to the board. Um, Let's see here. And see, you can just like level out the solder if you want to. Just don't touch the board too long. So like I'm leveling it out. So making it flat. So that's how you get that piece off. Like don't try to pry it or don't use any of this stuff. Just get yourself a soldering iron and just slowly just put it in the middle. And it'll heat up a little bit and just wiggle it out. And it comes out. So the next part that we're going to do is get rid of that little tab, which I'm sure you're going to know what's coming next, is we're going to use just some little like tin snips or wire snips, whatever you want to call them, and we're going to cut that area out right here. Do that right in a second. I got to unplug my soldering iron. I'll be right back. Okay, so a little tricky part here. Um, actually, because it's just plastic, you're not going to hurt anything. You could do that but I was like I don't want to touch anything metal with these so 10 steps are the way to go so you can just line this up like if you can get the flat end to the top because that's the part we're cutting off you just clip it off and it comes off and I think our next problem is going to be is clearance because you're not going to be able to push this through here so what we're going to do is we're going to have to clip up here to remove all this top part out okay so we're gonna do let's use this to line this up just a little bit like I'm just gonna place it where it's gonna be all right so we know it's got to be pretty wide so we're gonna clip try not to clip into the top layer but like we're just trying to try to snip this part off right here like we're gonna try to snip these little edges off that are on these sides Try not to get in your way while I'm doing this. Do, 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 do. I mean, an easier alternative to this would probably be to buy the SSD that's the right size for this, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to snip through this. Just trying to get the plastic out. <laughs> Snip through that side, and snip through this side. Okay, little snipping strategy here. If you come at, the, at it from the side right here, you don't have to touch the board. If you come at it from the side, you can snip these little edges off 
a little easier. And see how that's just coming off right there? Let's see if we have clearance yet. <laughs> we almost have clearance. All right, so the way you have to do this is, see, this one already has, like, if you don't have that, try to get some of the the tape that basically, like, protects pretty much all your metal connectors so you don't rub up against anything. So the way this has to go in here is a little forceful. You don't have to be too forceful, but, like, you slide it in this way because there's a little, there's a wall of plastic, like, right here. So if you slide it in, you have to get it past the wall of plastic, then just... Push down just a little, you don't have to push down a lot, and then slide it in. And it should fit right in the hole, just like that. So now, we're gonna put this thing together, see if it comes on, see if it works. All right, so putting it together is the same thing in reverse. I actually didn't show you how to take this battery out, but Please make sure you take your battery out. So like, all you do is you push it in here and you have to slide this little slider as hard as you can. Push that up and that comes out. So we're gonna leave that out while we're doing this. So since we cut all that plastic out, if you want to, you can turn it over, smack it a little and blow it out or something. But it wasn't a little plastic. A lot of the a lot of the stuff came off the second I snipped it out. So if you do, slide this back in there. See, ooh, it's all nice and pretty. Um, put this at the top. Slide that back in. I probably need to get the right screw heads to put that back in there because it's a Phillips screw. Here's this Phillips head screw. I don't know if I charge this thing. Ah, this aligned in there. This flip it over. Let's see if it comes on. All right. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Just lean this up a little. Ah, ah, ah. So you guys can see. Hey, I didn't break it. All right, so we're here at the startup. Let's see how well the SSD does. It's loading. We turned it on. It's doing on stuff. Hey, look. It's loading. Hey, it's there. <clears throat> Let's go take a look here. System information. Components. Storage. Drives. Yep, there they go. There go the two drives. If you don't want to go there, you can always go to, you know, the Explore tab thingy and then just go to this PC and you should see two drives there. There's the solid state and there is the regular drive. So I would have to say this is somewhat of a success. <laughs> um, again, I say um, you can secure the, like, uh, it's pretty snug in there if you cut as close as I did. It's not going to fall or bounce out like unless you like seriously drop it. But if you seriously drop it, you probably broke the computer anyway. So as far as it goes, um, that's pretty much it. There's an SD in there. You can secure it down with electrical tape if you want to. But um, other than that, it's not a really necessary. It's clamped in there pretty tight. And that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you do.